This is Chris with Rocky Mountain Fly Design uh, here in Fort Collins, Colorado. We're going to tie a steelhead fly today um, called the Freight Train. It's a Randall Kaufman fly. Um, very popular fly. This is a uh, size 4 standard black um, up eye salmon and steelhead hook. We're going to take uh, some 8 dot black thread and we're just going to lay down a little base here. We're going to wrap this back to where our bobbin hangs right at the point. We're going to tie in our tail. Here, and our tail is going to be um, purple saddle. And we want a pretty healthy amount. Grab them by the tips, make sure they're even, tear them off. And then I like to just kind of take my fingers and wet them and put them into a point. That helps kind of keep them together as you tie them on. We want that tail to expand, extend just a little bit past the, the back side of that hook. Just going to lash down those hackle fibers. Puts in our tail. Take our next material, which is going to be our ribbing material. This is silver uh, oval French tinsel. And keep this on the bottom of the hook. Just helps make the wraps a little cleaner. And the body material, it's got a two tone butt to it with a um, singular body color. We're going to do this uh, in couple different colors and now we're going to use a little bit different uh, material for the body. You usually use um, wool yarn or wool just in general for the for the body. We're going to actually use Angora Goat. Um, this is a red. I like the bugginess of this dubbing. I think it does a good job of um, staying translucent in the water and uh, I just like the overall look for it. We're going to take some red Angora goat. We're just going to start with a little, a little red butt there. The second part of this is going to be a fluorescent pink. Again, Angora. I'm just going to start right where that red butt stops. This Angora can be a little tricky to work with, just uh, getting it to stay on the thread. So I like to dub it in a little bit of a layer in the process. We're going to try to continue that taper. Gradually getting a little bit bigger so that this whole entire body continues to be tapered. So we've got our red, red butt and a pink butt. And we're going to start with our uh, main body material, which is going to be purple. Um, I like to use this custom dub from Hairline. It's got a... It's, Kind of angora goat with a little bit of flash in it. Helps out just a little bit. I like having that little subtle flash in there. And we're going to use that taper that we've already built and just continue to grow it. Mm -hmm. 
get a little bit more here. Having the three different materials, I'm going to try to get a seamless taper as we go through this fly to the head. And you can obviously do this with chenille or yarn. Um, like I said, I just like having this little extra flash in there as well as just the look um, and the fuzziness of this Angora goat once you... And the more you couple, catch a couple fish on this and it, it tends to get a little buggy as well and that's kind of nice. Alright, so we got our little taper here and take our, our ribbing material. We're going to work this through. If you want, you can take your, your bodkin and kind of rough up. I'll, I'll usually rough up the purple a little bit. Our uh, collar on this is going to be purple schlappen. Unless you use purple guinea as a good alternative to this. And tie this in here. Clip out the tip. A couple stray fibers in there. Then we're going to do this um, take our. Oh, didn't get all that tip down. Try that again. sure that tip's nice and secure in there. And we're going to take our scissors and just kind of fold back, run along this stem here and fold back some of those fibers just to kind of get that those wraps started. And we're going to wrap this, make sure that all of our hackle fibers are, are facing backwards here. Four or five wraps, depending on how thick your schlappen is. Go ahead and tie that off. We want to try to keep about an eye length behind this this eye for our calf tail wing. Got a little collar here. Take a couple pieces of crystal flash. I like to take two. And tie those on and then we're going to fold them over the top. So now we have four pieces. This is just pearl crystal flash. couple extra wraps in there just to get something to tie over on top of. I like to kind of keep those veiled across the top. I'm um, kind of at an 11 and 1 on the fly. So it's underneath that wing. And we're going to cut those just short of the tail. Last part of this is going to be calf tail. This is just white calf tail. You can stack this if you want. I just kind of like to manipulate it a little bit with my hands. And 
until the guard hairs are even and then I'm going to pinch those guard hairs and I'll pull out that extra fluff that under fur so that I'm left with just the guard hairs and we're going to tie that in so the tips are right about the length of that crystal flash we tied in do some good tight wraps make sure it's on top spread it out just a little bit with your thumb helps kind of rudder that fly a little bit and what we'll do is we'll take our scissor tips we'll cut it off that way when we make the head it'll be uh, nice and uniform we'll go ahead and do that I like to use this calf tail back to where the head thread wraps are vertical. Kind of helps keep that calf tail wing nice and even. And we'll go ahead and whip finish. Off, and we're going to use some clear cure goo hydro for the head. Very simple way to get a nice glossy head and secure those thread wraps as well. We're just going to use a bodkin and apply it. I've put it on just a little um, lid to a fly cup. And we'll go ahead and hit it with the torch. Got one little hackle fiber in there. Really easy way to get rid of that little hackle fiber is take your carterizer tool. You can kind of just burn it off. There we go. Makes a nice clean head. If you just got a couple little hackle fibers or something hanging out, uh, it doesn't work so well with the calf tail if you if you mess up on that. But uh, if you got anything synthetic or those hackle fibers tend to burn off real quick. So that's the freight train. Um, great pa pattern. Been around for a long time. Uh, Randall Kaufman is the originator. Um, just a little bit of a variation on on my part with some materials. You can uh, buy these at RockyMountainFlyDesign.com and uh, Tie some up.